to the GMA Tech tutorial on how to do a simple backup using the built-in software with Microsoft Windows XP or Windows Vista. Since I have an XP machine, professional version, I'm going to show you how it works in that version. Um, what you want to do is you want to click on your start button for Windows and the Windows backup software is located by default in the accessories and the system tools folder and you'll see the backup uh, icon right there, a little blue with an arrow on it. That backup program will fire up and it will start to look for backup devices in order for you to have a place to back up your software. The first screen that you come to is what you'll notice is that it, it's it's a wizard mode. You can From this mode you can either back up or restore files using the software. I like to use the wizard mode by default so I'm just going to click on next. There is an advanced mode and the, I'll give you a quick view of this a little bit. The advanced mode allows you to um, uh, basically back up certain folders if you'd like, you know, if you just want to back up uh, my mp3 files, I'll just back that up and and you can fire off the backup straight from there. But I like this wizard view uh, whenever possible because it's the simplest and easiest to work. Within wizard mode, uh, I'll get back to this main menu and click on next. Within wizard mode you'll see that we can either A, backup files and settings, or B, restore files and settings. Uh, I'm a pretty simple guy. I, I need those simple instructions. So in this case, we want to back up files and settings. It's nice because it asks you what files do you want to back up, and it comes in four different kind of uh, preset uh, um, modes for you. The first set is My Documents and Settings, uh, which includes all your favorites and your desktops and the cookies and all that good uh, stuff that you might want to back up. And if, you, if you're working on an XP machine, the second option, uh, especially an XP machine that has various profiles, like when you set up XP, you might have the kids profile on one and then your profile on another and multiple users on a computer. This setting says, hey, back up everyone's documents and, and folders. And, and that's really kind of important. Uh, this next one's a little more drastic. It says, basically, back up all the information on this computer. It's more of a shotgun kind of approach. And then this last mode is, is nice in that it allows you to choose what to back up. Um, if you click on next here, it'll say, uh, much like the other uh, setup, I can just do my MP3 files and my documents if I wanted to. But I, I don't want to do that for this uh, for this example. I really just want to do the um, my documents and settings. I think for most people, if they just did that on a daily or weekly even uh, uh, basis, they'd be in a lot of good good shape. So let's click on next, and then what you'll see next here is it really wants to figure out where you want it to back up to. For example, in my computer setup here at work, I'm on a network, um, and if I go to this um, basically uh, drop-down list, you can see all the files and you know, all the uh, drives on my network, but most people at home would probably have a C and D for their uh, hard drives and, and DVDs and CDs, but you might have an E drive if you have a USB external hard drive or if you have some sort of uh, USB, um, uh, what do they call the memory sticks, that sort of thing. So that's where you would go to, to back up your files, because the whole idea is you want to get it off, you basically want to create a copy off of your main computer. So in my case, I have a, a USB drive it's an E drive, so I back up everything in there. As you can see, I have some preset backups already, but for today's case, I'm going to create a whole new backup, and I'm going to call it Sample Backup. Whatever I put in here is is the name of the file that's actually going to show up. Um, uh, oh, actually, this is the name of the job that you create. Um, in this case, Sample Backup is the name of the job. It differentiates. Uh, this backup be between all the others. And then you type the name of, or, or for this backup. It's basically a file name for the backup. I'm going to call it Sample Backup on Monday, since today, the day I'm doing this tutorial is a Monday. And then I'm going to click on Next. And what you'll see here is it gives you all the information. What you're going to create is a file on my E drive that says Sample Backup on Monday.bkf. It's going to be created today and this is the contents are, are my documents and settings. 
at this point we're finished and the minute I click finish it's going to start to basically do an inventory of all um, the files on my computer and you'll see it says preparing uh, to back up and use shadow copy and then it starts to tick off the basic all the files on my computer kind of does an inventory on those files and you can see it then byte estimate is getting up there 33 meg and, and for this particular backup I know it'll go as high as 6 gigs so uh, it takes a little while sometimes to do this inventory after the inventory of files is completed you see that it starts to tick off and process all the files that it needs to do if you see down in the lower right hand corner it's roughly 6 gigs of files that it needs to back up and this is on the left hand side is the amount of files that it's actually uh, processed already and it'll kick in and, and you'll see this progress bar move all the way from the left to the right when it's completed now uh, I could wait two hours and and this would be an awfully long video to watch you do uh, watch me do my backup or I'm just gonna pause this recording and cancel this backup and show you what happens at the end because it's, it's real important whether I cancel it or or move it forward you'll see that it creates a report and it gives you an idea of how long it took and that sort of thing so let's just cancel it right now It basically says hey are you sure you want to cancel that and I'll say yes and what it does is it gives me uh, a report you'll see the report right here and this will happen every time you back up it'll show you a list of all the files that you backed up now there's a verbose mode that you can see all the individual files that you backed up or uh, it might just give you a summary that's the, uh, very dependent on how you set it up and those are in the options and we won't go into that right now but what's more important is I want you to see the results of your backup now if you remember I put it on my E drive so uh, the backup I want to show you what it'll look like if you can see right here the sample backup on Monday is the file that we backed up it's all it, all the files that we were interested in backing up in my documents and settings are now sitting uh, not even uh, zipped up not even compressed just all sitting inside uh, this one big file and this thing can get really big this thing would actually be 6 gig but since we canceled it it was only 27 meg um, how it would work is now that you have this all you would need to do is double click this and then uh, if you wanted to restore any files from within that um, uh, folder or the, within this uh, big big file it would walk you through the whole wizard again on how to restore so I hope this is helpful I hope it gives you an idea um, of how to back up and uh, of course if, if you have any questions you can call us here at Green Mountain Access have a great day